Hey guys, Joe Tech here. And you're probably wondering, what the heck are we looking at? <laughs> well, actually, if you're looking at this video, you already know what we're looking at. So, this happens to be a Toshiba laptop. It's a um, A505 um, Intel uh, motherboard. It's got a Core 2 Duo, I believe. And um, this has a bad CMOS battery and what we're going to do is remove it and I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I have I have uh, you've guys seen in the past my um, soldering iron my butane soldering iron here's a Radio Shack butane thing is cranking hot already as you can see Focus in on that instead. Butane soldering iron. Got the throttle control here. Works very well. All right, let's get back to the back to this. Now you're gonna probably laugh. I have my phone. I'm actually using my phone. I got a Galaxy uh, Note 2. I have it balanced on a cup, so I can do this work. And I'm going to grab my magnifying glass, so I can see a little bit better. Have a, I have a, um, what you might call it, a magnifying uh, LED um, glass that works very, very well um, for this purpose. Um, so I'm also adding some more light on the subject, just so I could see. I'm gonna probably do it over here instead. Obviously, you want to disconnect all power so nothing happens. And I should have enough room to get rid of this now. Let's see. Screwdriver, flat blade. Now this is very tiny. Let me give you an understanding of how small this darn thing is. Let me get a, let me get a, a dime. I'll throw a dime over here so you can get an understanding of how small this bad boy is. It's a small. That's a that's a tiny little uh, um, uh, CMOS battery. Actually, that's actually rechargeable. This is one of the rare things. This is a rechargeable device. That's here, and I'm replacing it with this style because this was really cheap. This was two bucks, so um, very inexpensive. I just got it today, so I'm gonna add this bad boy to this thing. So let me lower down the heat on this. Tap. Make sure I got solder. Maybe we got solder on this thing. So I just want to lift this up a little bit because this is gonna be so quick. Just want to lift up on this a little bit so I can grab it with my finger, like so. So I'm going to put a little pressure on it. I'm going to tap it here and remove. That side's done. And then I'm going to, since this is bad, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to tap it here and pull, and now we're done. So we got the battery off, which is really nice that this actually this board shows as positive and negative. So which is awesome. Now here's the new battery and these wires are not tinned yet so I'm going to tin them right now. So that's finished and we're just going to solder it right to the um, right to the board without waiting here. Let me tin these again. Obviously, we're going to have to go into BIOS and and check this, make sure everything is good here. But let's see, we'll put the positive down here. Zippity doo dah, that's done. Go to the negative. That's how easy this is, folks. We'll go into, pop it there. Is, yeah, this is real time. I'm not going to be editing anything, so let's pop this here. And that's done. So now it's on. I'm just going to most likely hot glue this. I'm going to fold this over and stick it just like this, right where it's supposed to be. It shouldn't have any problem fitting on it. And there you have it. 
old battery, new battery. Easy peasy. All right, let me let me zoom out of here so you could see. Wasn't kidding, I actually had a cup, <laughs> balanced it on here. And here's my magnifying uh, LED magnifying glass, must have device for uh, this type of work. Makes it, makes it easier to look at stuff, you know, especially when you want to zoom in on something and you want something really close, you could do it. It's excellent, works really, really well. I also have, um, especially when you're dealing with tiny electronics, as you saw, on my other videos with, um, where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. I even have a loop. Um, jewelers use these for diamonds and stuff, but you know what? It works great when you want to get into really small sections of the board. You need to have fine detail, especially you're doing repairs. So I recommend the loop, and I also recommend that magnifying glass. Works really, really well. All right, guys, uh, you have any comments or questions, please do so, and keep it clean. Thank you.